Welcome back to Motoblade, guys. First ride of the year on the Harley. Finally got the handlebar job done. We are completely internally wired now for the electronic wires. Got our new brake line run, our new clutch cable run. Was able to keep the same throttle cables. Didn't have to upgrade those. There were plenty of length on them. And it is so much more comfortable to ride now. Just having my arms up here, not having to lean my back over. My back is totally straight, leaning against the backrest in the seat. It is just perfect. This is the way you're meant to ride a motorcycle. Totally comfortable and relaxed. Got the front fork all blacked out now with the vinyl wrap. I'm gonna do a whole video coming up for you guys on all the modifications that I've done to the Harley. I've got several more to come. Just picked up a recent uh, sponsorship. Whew. <coughs> it's the worst part of driving up here in the springtime is all the shit trucks are out. They're pumping liquid manure into the soil up here. It's a terrible way to do it, but <coughs> it makes a mess of the roads. Anyway, I'm gonna have a whole video coming up detailing for you guys all the modifications that I have done to the Harley. But for right now, we're just headed to the airport, going to work, going to teach some people how to fly planes and have some fun today. The modifications are not completely done yet with the Harley. So I've recently picked up a sponsorship from Viking Saddlebags, and I've used their products in the past on my other bikes. In fact, I've got a little uh, sissy bar bag, a pretty old one, that I've got strapped to me right now that I'm using to haul all my crap over to the airport. And they have sent me some saddlebags, tail light relocation kit, a sissy bar, what else? Sissy bar pads, tool bag, all kinds of stuff that I'm gonna be installing on the bike, reviewing for them, reviewing for you guys. A lot of their new stuff that they've just put out, as well as some of their old uh, favorite merchandise that is just some of the most popular stuff out there. If you look around for third party saddlebag options for your Harley or your Indian. Majority of uh, what you're going to see out there are Viking bags. Just good quality stuff. If you guys are running a Sportster or really any motorcycle out there, I'd like to hear from you guys if you're running it with just the left mirror and if you've got some sort of idea for what a good left mirror option would be. You only have to have the left mirror on a bike and with the new ape hangers on here I would prefer to just have the one on the left side. It cleans up the look quite a bit. But the stock one from Harley, it looks kind of eh, it's okay. But if you guys have an idea for what a good uh, left side mirror would be, maybe you're running one on your Harley, let me know down in the comments. A link to the product would be very much appreciated if you guys would drop one of those down below. The cleaner look up front without the mirrors hanging down and without the electrical wires on the outside of the bars, the bike just looks so much better now. Let me know what you guys think of my new handlebars down in the comments. Just sitting here looking at it, I think I want to take the position of the bars just a little more forward, just kind of rotate them that way a little bit. Also, I think I had it marked on center, but I think when I tightened up the clamp it shifted a little bit. My handlebars look a little bit more shifted to the right, so I might need to uh, loosen that up and fix that. I've got the Willy G skull down here on the tank, so I ended up getting the Willy G skull grips and throttle to match. Also got the Willy G skull derby cover. The installation video for that uh, derby cover is on my channel if you guys are interested. Today is kind of a test run for my new brake. First time ever doing a brake job on a motorcycle. I watched a lot of detailed videos. Big shout out to the guys at Lowbrow Customs. Don't know if they even watch my videos, but if you do, I appreciate all the work you guys put into helping me get the parts, get all the right pieces I needed for my new brake line, and for the installation videos you guys have made to help me uh, do this whole project. The Lowbrow Customs guys were just awesome, so I'm gonna put a link to them down below. Thank them for their effort. Uh, if you guys need any parts for your bike, they don't have everything you can need for your bike, but they've got quite a bit, so go check them out if you're in the market for parts. Maybe you need brakes or clutch lines, cables, whatever you need for your project. They've got pretty much anything you could need. 
but the brake line is definitely a experimental thing for me. Having never run a brake line before, having never bled a brake line, I think I did it all right. The pressure in the handlebar control feels good, the lever. The brake does an effective job of stopping the bike. I can feel it pretty tight. We'll do a little trail brake in here in the corner. One finger pull on that brake and I've got good braking power. So I think I did it right. I'm still a little wary of my brake job. So I'm being gentle with the front brake for the moment. And when I get home, I will check everything for leaks and make sure I've got no leaks anywhere in my fittings. There's a little extra brake line over here. You guys might be able to see it kind of comes out like a loop down there. When I measured for the brake line, I needed 44 inches. They didn't have that. They had 43 and 46. So rather than be on the short side, I went with a 46 and I think I went too big but they didn't have a 44 so I may order a 43 at some point and just tentatively uh, try it see if it'll work because I don't really like the big extra loop of brake line hanging down there I might be able to uh, loop that more under the fork stem as well and make it look a little better internally wiring these handlebars was really not that difficult the most difficult part of the whole thing was the clutch line uh, taking the old one off putting the new one on getting it readjusted but again, good videos for all that kind of stuff on YouTube. I'll have a video doing this entire project coming up. But YouTube is a helpful place when you're trying to do these projects. I learned how to do a full clutch cable removal and install. I learned how to adjust my throttle cables. I learned how to do my own internal wiring and do the wire extensions myself. Um, originally, I had the Harley extensions. Got them from Harley, had some gift cards, so I ordered them and they were not long enough for these bars. So I ended up making my own extensions and honestly, I think the quality of my own extensions that I made is better and much smoother and much smaller than the big extensions you get from Harley because you end up having just one plug on either end versus with the extensions from Harley, you're gonna have four plugs throughout your entire handlebar setup and it's gonna take up some room under your tank you're gonna have to do a taller tank lift and all that stuff to accommodate it so pretty proud of my extension job i did i heat shrinked all my connections so it's all waterproofed and then i wrapped it in silicone tape just to give it some extra durability in case it shifts around inside of the handlebars at all overall i'm just very pleased with how this entire project turned out it took me about three weeks to do it start to finish so it took me a little bit of time I wasn't working on it every single day, but I think it worked out pretty well, and I saved myself quite a bit of money over taking it somewhere to have it all done. Plus, I got to learn all kinds of stuff about how my bike operates, the internal wiring schematics, the clutch cable, the brake lines, the throttle cables. I got to learn more about my bike, so I feel much more confident doing service and work on my bike now, having done this project. I just learned quite a bit from it. So we're almost to the airport, going to drop in and do some work with some students. Got a couple people working on their private pilot's license. Got one guy doing some instrument work. Going to teach him how to do some instrument approaches later tonight into Burlington Airport. That'll be fun. Any day where I can go fly and ride the motorcycle to and from the airport, that's a pretty good day. So we're going to go fly and we'll wrap this video up after we're done. was a fun day of flying it was quite windy about 25 gusting to 30 at some points but it was fun nonetheless was able to do quite a bit of uh, work with my students do some instrument approaches and now we are heading home to put the bike away in the garage because the next couple days they are actually calling 
for possibility of snow showers and 30 degree temperatures. Winter just keeps hanging on. This was really the first nice day we've had where it's been up in the 60s and sunny. I'm hoping to get a moto camping trip in here pretty soon. The problem is no, the parks up here have opened up yet for camping. They don't open up till like the end of May. So I may have to drive south into like southern Vermont or uh, like southern New York to find some good open campgrounds for the end of April, beginning of May. I'm going to try to do a moto camping trip here for you guys pretty soon. I will also have some moto camping gear reviews coming up for you guys here pretty soon. I am just so tired of winter. I just can't wait for this. So I'm going to wrap this video up here, head home, get some food, and maybe work on the bike a little more, clean her up, do a little detailing. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button. Again, let me know down in the comments if you guys have any suggestions on left-hand mirrors for me. If you're new here and you're not already subscribed, please click that subscribe button and click the bell icon next to it. That'll give you guys notifications when there are new videos to watch right here on Motoblade. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, y'all know what to do. Ride safe, ride on. I'll catch y'all later. Deuces.